This is my completely rebuilt top to bottom Hardinge HLVH EM. So this is the English metric version of the lathe. The entire thing was taken down to everything was taken apart. All the gearboxes were taken apart, the box was taken apart, everything was taken apart and properly reconditioned. So even the top tray was bead blasted before it was painted. Everything is super clean and pristine. You look at all the different details, things such as every single nut or every single bolt has been redone. All the rubber pieces have been replaced. Everything has been bead blasted and cleaned. Entire case was re-sanded. Everything was repainted with a acrylic urethane. So it's heavy duty, resistive to all different types of oils. All the labels are brand new. Every single screw was either replaced or re-blued. Open this up. You see even in the motor area, everything is super clean, top to bottom. There is zero grease, zero debris, even if you look up and underneath. And I could go up and underneath the motor tray, underneath the lathe. Everything on this lathe is 100 completely spotless. Like I said, you'll notice even all new rubber bumpers. If you look underneath, you'll see even brand new cork holding up the tray. Brand new label. The only label on the machine that wasn't replaced on the outside was this one. And that's just simply because this is the original one with the HLVH EM. Uh, but you will notice when you look, even all the little uh, Pins are brand new. Handle was stripped down, retextured, repainted. Screws are redone. A lot of areas that aren't even painted stock on a Harding's lathe, like up in this area here, are painted, so they're sealed. Underneath here is painted and sealed. Everything has been redone properly. You notice if you look at all the nuts, bolts, nothing has been painted over. It's not like I took a paintbrush to it. Everything was completely disassembled, sanded, properly primed, properly prepped. So I'll come up here to the top. The electronics box, brand new label. Electronics inside were checked. Brand new screws. Same thing here, brand new screws. Brand new labels, everything was repainted. The entire tail stock was disassembled, redone. All the pieces were gone through, polished, reblued. All of the slides and everything work exactly how they should work. Everything is super smooth on the lathe. Come down here, motor was rebuilt. Everything was repainted, everything was blued, polished. The internals of the clutches were rebuilt, so that way they have uh, brand new clutch plates in them. Once again, everything polished, cleaned, painted. If you look at the oil, everything is super clean on the lathe. It's been gone through 100%. This gearbox was 100% taken apart. Clutches, 100% taken apart. Cross slide, everything was taken apart. So. The lathe from a uh, operation standpoint is perfect. From a cosmetic standpoint, it is as close as you could possibly get to new. When you look at the bed, it was reground. There is not a single mark in the bed. Even all of the uh, wipes are brand new. Front, rear, bed is 100% flawless. All of the oilers were gone through, so the oilers were perfect. Uh, everything properly gets lubrication where it should. Everything here has been tested and gone through. It all works like brand new. All of the switching works. The gearbox was completely taken apart, cleaned out. Everything was checked. All the labels were replaced, top to bottom. If there was a broken handle, it was replaced. Anything on this lathe, if it was taken apart and there was any sort of wear, it was replaced. So every single thing on this works 100% flawless. 
like I said, all brand new labels, all brand new screws. It has an Accurite DRO on it. All the way down to even new labels in here. All the labels are directly from Hardings. These are not aftermarket stuff. All the parts were directly from Hardings, not aftermarket parts. Everything is super smooth on the lathe. Open up the gearbox. Inside the gearbox, super clean. Has all the proper gearing so it could do English and metric. I do have still pictures of the inside as well. You notice around the back, even all of these which go into the pan were polished. Everything on it has been gone through. All of the tubing is still flexible. It's not brittle like, so, like you might get on some of the old ones. Polished, cleaned top to bottom. Uh, here is the serial number. Oops. Sorry, it's upside down. HLVH8949T, which is an original EM. And let's see, here are the, here's the DRO, one of them, or sorry, the reed head, one of them for the DRO. And this is an aluminum plate to protect it. And then here's the second one down below. All set up so that way nothing can actually get down to it. Uh, even, I think I mentioned this already, the oilers were completely rebuilt, all the tubes were clean. All brand new gaskets on it, so everything there works perfect. All these parts on even the tailstock are rebuilt. So everything on this lathe just works super, super, super smooth. I mean, you can see how nice this is. Very little play in anything. You're not going to find a lathe that's this tight anywhere. I mean, just all the way around. This thing works so smooth. And it's quiet. As a matter of fact, I will go ahead right now and we will turn it on. It's going to get noisy, but it gets noisy not because of the lathe. It gets noisy because I have a three-phase converter. So let me go ahead and shut this. And we'll kick on the three-phase converter. So here's where the noise is going to be coming from. Hopefully it's not too loud in the video itself. So we'll click this in the on. We're going to pull that to engage it. Um, and I'm going to hand my son the camera so he can do a little bit of video work. Just kind of hold it right there for a second. Okay. So we're going to make sure that we are in uh, we're not going to worry about gearing yet. We're just going to simply be in feed. So if we're in feed, we go up to low. So, see it's nice and smooth and quiet. Yeah, we'll actually switch with the high. So now we're at 375. Go all the way up. That's now 3,000. So everything runs very smooth. Take it back down. This will just rattle a little bit so we're really not holding it. From top to bottom, everything works exactly how it should work. So now we will go ahead and take this. Actually, we'll go back up to there. So if you can get a picture of this too. Here. See the carriage from super, super slow all the way up to high speed. Same thing with the cross slide, super slow. There's about as slow as speed, all the way up to full speed. You can reverse that. Put it 
some threading. Writing works perfect. And for that, I think we can actually turn the power feed back off. Thank you. So as you can see, everything works perfect, looks perfect. Uh, everything even down to replacing the plastic window. So this isn't even faded in the slightest. So I have a, a lot of pictures of the machine being rebuilt. Detailed pictures showing it in the different stages from being sanded down to primered uh, all the way through paint stage and assembly you can see the different parts that i bought to rebuild the machine properly this is not a quick rebuild this is a ground up top to bottom take it apart and do it proper rebuild when you look at other lays that are for sale you'll notice a lot of times they simply paint over things like labels they paint over edges they they don't do it properly. This is done properly. I will go ahead and let's see. I was going to show the inside of the box, but I have that screwed. So I will go ahead and just show some still shots of that. Otherwise, if there's any other thing that you want to see on the lathe, let me know. But it is 100% perfect condition. The only reason why I'm selling it is because I actually have two of these machines. And this one I finished rebuilding, and another one which I have over here, I haven't even started on yet. And so that one is next, but I need to clear some money and clear some room. Let me know if you have any questions or if there are any other photos or any other video that you'd like to see. Like I said, this is as pristine of a HLVH uh, that I have ever seen, uh, not to mention the fact that it's an HLVH EM, which is the E. Uh, English M metric version of this so it does threading for both let me know if you have any questions thank you very much bye bye